What's going on out there in the multiverse? This is the Red Cup Review. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're taking a look at the Freddie Mercury 1-6 scale by Win C in his Live 8 outfit. Now there are two what I'm calling super kit bashes available. The Live 8 outfit and also there's another one available in his iconic yellow jacket from the Wembley Stadium performance. I went with Live 8. This figure's great. It's not perfect, but come on, it's Freddie Mercury and it's freaking cool as hell. So let's take a closer look. All right, this is him unpackaged and out of the box. As you can see, the box is much smaller because he does not come with the body. Inside the box, you have the microphone, the microphone stand, the little mic wire up there in the back, a couple of hands, and you have his head. He comes with his T-shirt, pants, his sneakers, the armband, and this little certificate of authenticity thing right here. Now, the body is a TB League it's recommended that you get the M31, I believe it's called. So TB League M31, that's the seamless body from that company. Now, look, this ain't Hot Toys quality, right? Then again, I don't expect it to be. So none of this is really like, oh, but it should have been this and it should have been a little bit more of that. Let's take a look at the head. The head sculpt to me is a little bit more on the cartoon side, but that is totally Freddie Mercury. All right, it's not 100% perfect. I really do love the detail in the mustache, though. You can really see the, uh, the, the, you know, the sculpt work in there. And on the hair, the hair is really nice because a lot of these third-party figures don't really have a lot of detail in their hair. Sometimes that's where it looks flat, but the strands of, here are, the strands of hair here are very well detailed. And I'm very much enjoying that. The ears are very well done. Nice. And the paint does not splotch. Look, it goes right over the ear. And there's very little bleed, if any, at all. So that works great. The eyes have that classic gloss look. And they are brown, dark brown. He's got a nice 5 o'clock shadow thing going on on the, the side of his face here, which is very well done. And I love the depth work inside the mouth. And I love the shininess and glossiness on the teeth. That works pretty good because it you know let's let's face it inside the mouth you know it's your singer it's going to be a little salivary in there so it gives it that nice wet look okay now here's how it looks on the inside of the head obviously that's how they get the the upper jaw the upper and lower part of the mouth to work and there's the adapter well, the adapter is actually on the figure but there's what the inside of the head looks like all right moving along to the mic stand piece here this is 100 percent metal it's nice and sturdy Trying to bend it, ain't going to bend. I mean, if you really crank on it, but that's good. It's a nice mic stand. His hands. Now, the Throwback League 31, that is, comes back, throwback, a TB League, whatever they call it, uh, comes with a set of hands. He's supposed to come with four sets of hands, right? One, two, three, four. So I believe this is on the TB League. So let's get that the hell out of there. All right, so here's one hand for holding the mic. Hands are very nicely well done, nicely painted. And grabbing the body for a minute, you're going to see that the coloring on the hands actually matches the body pretty good. Not 100% match, but it serves its purpose and it's pretty well done. The pants are very nice and tight fitting. He comes with this nifty little belt that's part of the accessories. And it was a real big pain in the ass actually getting this outfit onto the body because the body tends to be a little... Look, see how my finger is... It's not smooth, right? These bodies are kind of like... They're fleshy. Right, so uh, it was actually recommended to me by my buddy Donnie Snell, right, to, um, he's part of the Red Cup fam, to take some uh, some talcum powder and, and dab a little bit of it on the body, and it supposedly helps slide the, co the clothes right over. I didn't do that like an idiot, but I'm sure it works because uh, he's heard of that before. Maybe he's done it, but that's, you know, in case you guys are having problems with that, try talcum powder or baby powder, that is. Nice little patch on the back of the jeans there. Very cool, very nicely well stitched. These jeans, these clothes are done very nicely, tapered at the ankle. Very good. And there you have the sneakers. Sneakers are very well done. Right? They got uh, multiple little color 
variations going on there. It's not just one solid. It's a solid piece of plastic. And here's another pain in the neck part. Um, you're going to have to use a blow dryer, right, to loosen up the plastic in here in order to, to get it on the body. At least I had to. And especially for the hands. The hands are a little bit harder plastic than normal. Like a, a they're, on the, they're on the harder side. So you're going to want to use the blow dryer to, to kind of, you know, soften them up a little and get them on there. And there's the t-shirt, very nicely tailored and well done. It's form-fitting, it's snug to the body, and it works out very cool. And this, you just slide this up over the arm. This was actually the easiest thing to put on, just whoop, right over there, and it fits on pretty darn nice. Now, I'm not going to go into the, you know, articulation too much, because this is more of, that would be like the, a TB League, you know, review. You can really get the legs all the way up, you can get them down, you can have them doing some cool leaning poses, and... You know, things like that. You guys saw in the pictures I showed you before. But try not to keep the body in a pose for too long where he's doing something like that because you will get tearing under here depending on the climate you live in. So if you're going to do crazy poses, definitely don't keep him in the crazy pose for longer than a week. You can obviously do slightly, slightly bendable poses without having to worry about that. I don't think that's going to, well, maybe that there. You can actually feel the metal exoskeleton under exo. And... The skeleton underneath, the metal piece, you could feel it kind of protruding a little bit. So you want to put them in a way where it's not going to mess it up too much. You know, you can definitely though work the body and the abs and twist them around and stuff too, which is pretty darn cool. Because, you know, he was a very expressive singer, you know, so you want to be able to put him in some kind of dynamic poses, have him, you know, as expressive as possible. Here's the microphone. The microphone wire is absurdly long. Absurdly. I, I'm like stretching this like... This has got to be at least two and a half feet long, this this mic cord here. That's a little ridiculous, but it's cool because you can have it like kind of behind him, you know, like as if it's plugged into the stage, like in the background or something, if you guys are going to have like some kind of diorama or something like that, but it really didn't need to be that long. This is a little excessive, but the microphone's pretty cool. It's not metal. It's plastic, but it, it even has a little mic switch there. Switch doesn't work. It's just kind of there, part of the mold. The mic doesn't come out of this piece, but this piece under here... Okay, is where the metal stand plugs in, like this, right? And it kind of pops out a little easily, so if you want to put this in one of his hands, I definitely recommend putting this in. This articulates here. So I would put this in his hand and then kind of slid, slide this in there afterwards, okay? And then you have the option for that. Here's a certificate of authenticity, number 355, and one of my all-time favorite comic book characters, for those that are familiar with 355, that was from the comic Why the Last Man. So this is pretty cool. And, you know, shout-outs to the company, Wincy, for actually putting Freddie Mercury from the Live Aid 1985 on here. Like, as if it's almost licensed. I don't think this is licensed. I'm pretty sure it isn't. It might be. But um, they really just didn't give a you-know-what. If it isn't, and they were just like, screw it, we're going all out. This is pretty awesome that they were able to do it. Look, Wincy Studio, 1-6 scale collectible. And then the little number up there at the top, edition, Freddie Mercury. And then when you open it up, this is how it comes in the mail. And it's got some nice padding. Come on, man, get out of there. Right, and then here's everything. This is the uh, TB League stuff that I have just put in here for now, but there's obviously where the shoes go and all the other little accessories. And the head sculpt is in here with, with some other stuff, you know. Uh, I think the mic cord was in here or something. But uh, there you go. That's how it comes, pretty much. That's how you have it. About to dump everything out out eh, make a huge mess and there's the back right but it's nice nice hard card stock right so there you have it there's the breakdown of the figure now positives it's freddie mercury it's freaking awesome how can it not be cool a little bit of negatives now all right because i know a lot of people have complained like oh we don't they're not really getting a review i'm getting just like an advertisement for the figure head goes on like that obviously you're gonna have a little bit of a neck scene there and the face the paint on the face does not match the body 100%, unless you're going to get a professional painter or if you want to do it yourself to actually paint the body. It matches decently, but not perfect. So that's a little bit of a nit. Again, it's a little bit more cartoony for his face. It's uh, caricature-ish esque. It's like realistic with a hint of, you know, caricaturism. So that's, you know, mileage may vary on that. Look, you're not going to get Hot Toys quality unless you're having like their you know, super sculptors doing this stuff and painters, but it's good enough for me for my collection because I just really want a Freddie Mercury and it's actually pretty damn good. The jaw is a little cartoony. I remember him having the, you know, the big teeth and all that. It's just a little bit bigger than I would have liked. Just a little though. Again, 
Here's a, a nit that they just could not control. This isn't a knock on TB League. Uh, it's TB League. This isn't a knock on the figure itself. It's just something you got to be aware of. Freddie Mercury was a hairy dude. This guy was really friggin' hairy. His, he had a lot of hair on his chest. He had a lot of hair under his arms, on his forearms. He was a hairy, hairy guy. You're not going to get that with this. So if you look, you know, again, this is a big kit bash, so to speak. This isn't in a whole 100% licensed figure top to bottom. So little details like that, like the hair on his chest and, and things like that, you're not going to get. But look, if you want a Freddie Mercury to have in your collection, I would say on a scale from 1 to 10, well, we used to do cups on this channel, right? So I'm going to give this, on a biased point of view, I'm giving this uh, a 4.25 out of 5 cups. But if I had to be super critical, because I know a lot of people complain on this channel, oh, you're too critical, oh, you're not critical enough, I'm going to give it a 3.5 because of overall you know, the accuracy issues that you, you just can't control. So we have to judge these things based on the merit of what it is they can give us. Based on that, I'm giving it four and a quarter out of five. However, it's more if you're going to be super critical, like a three and a half. But I'm not, I look, I'm just, until Hot Toys or Blitzway or some major company starts cranking out, you know, classic, awesome rock legends like this and things that are a little bit different. That's why I'm all over Blitzway, even though I know they had an issue with that Ted figure. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm giving them. Uh, all the kudos in the world for actually stepping out of the Marvel, Star Wars, you know, box of same old, same old that Hot Toys seems to be doing these days. But look, until Hot Toys does it, this is what we got. And uh, I'm happy. Okay, this figure is going to look great in the collection. And hopefully he'll look great in yours. You can order yours today again, as I said in the beginning of the video. I hope that was in-depth enough for you guys. And I hope you enjoy this review. And hopefully we'll see you on another episode or a future episode of the Red Cup Review. Stay tuned, everybody. Take it easy.